Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to dynamically map the columns from files into the table. Let's understand the requirement. Uh, I have like multiple files with the same structure, but different data and different column names. For example, consider the two files provider info underscore ga dot csv and provider info underscore fl dot csv. If you notice that the file structure is same but the column names are slightly different. And my requirement is to load these two files into a table where the column names are slightly different than both the files. Okay. Okay. So let's build a process uh, to dynamically handle the column mapping between the files and the tables. Okay. We can implement this by using a couple of approaches. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how to like, dynamically map between the source files and the target using the uh, with the help of uh, mapping table okay okay before before starting that uh, i just i want to uh, explain uh, i want to show the uh, what is a problem uh, why we need a mapping table okay let's let let's let's explain with a simple copy activity and we'll see I have a copy activity that copies the single file uh, from the storage account to a table. Okay. And coming to the mapping. So I am reading the single files and I am loading into the ta single table. I am reading directly from the file and loading into the table. If you notice that the column names are slightly different in the file name and the table. So in the file, the column name, the column comes as a provider underscore space, whereas in the destination table, it's provider name. And the column in the file is specialty, whereas in the table, it's a specialty space type. And the services space offered in the file, and it is services offered in the table. Okay, let me try to reset it. Okay, so every time if you want to map the source and sync and if the column names are different so we have to manually map these columns okay and then this will work so if you have a single file and you are loading into a table that is fine we can do the manual mapping and we can uh, build the process what if like if I have multiple files and multiple files has a different column names and I want to load it into a single table. So in this scenario, this approach will not work. Okay. For that, we have to build a dynamic uh, mapping pipeline. So that's what we are going to show. See now. Okay. Before going to that, uh, we'll, we'll understand like how the JSON file will look uh, if we are doing manual mapping. So this is... Okay, we did a <coughs> manual mapping and just verify the JSON file. If you scroll down in the translator section, you will see the mapping. In the mapping section, the source is a provider name and the sync that provider name without space. And the second column specialty and the sync is specialties type. This is how it will create the JSON file in the mapping. Uh, coming back to the scenario, uh, now you understand the requirement. Like we have multiple files and the different column names and want to load it into a table that has a standard column names. Okay. So first thing is like uh, we need to build a uh, mapping table that will hold all the column names from the file to target. For example, this is a table I'm going to create. It has a file name, what is the source column name, and what is the target column name. So the source, the file name, uh, let me show the files. Yep, medical provider info dot fl underscore csv. This, this file has a like three columns. Let me show the file first. And yeah, this is my storage account and I have these two files, the first file other columns as provider name, specialty, space type, and services. Okay, and the second file also having the same similar type of data but with different column names. Okay, 
So if you if you notice that the column names are different here, and the rest of the data looks similar. Okay, going back here, and we need to like create this table, and we have to insert uh, the mapping information into this table, like what is the file name, and what are the source columns in the file, and what are the equivalent destination column names. Okay. Let's implement this practically. Okay, first we'll create the table, this mapping table. Okay, the table got created, and we need to insert the records. I already have the insert statement. I'm just I want to show you that. Okay, okay, the first three records are for the first file, and the second and the next three records are for the second file. Okay, this is my file name. You notice, yeah, this is my file name, and it has a three columns: providers underscore provider name, specialty space type, and services. That's what I am inserting here: provider name, okay, and provider specialty type and services. And the provider name. This is that, and this is my final table. Uh, looks like provider info is my final table and the column name is provider name specialty type and services support okay i am mapping from source to target okay similarly for the second file okay let's run it refresh okay now uh, we created the table with the column mapping from source to destination okay let's create a new pipeline okay uh, first we need to find the list of files so how many files are in the storage account for that we'll use the get metadata activity Okay. Let me create a one data set. Files are in the storage account. Select. I am using the existing linked service, which is pointing to the storage account. Okay. Select the file path. Click on browse, source. Okay, these are the two files. Click OK and uh, import schema. You can select none. Click OK. Okay, uh, from the field list, click on new. And I need the uh, file name, so I am selecting child items. Click OK. Okay, so this get this get metadata will fetch the list of file names, and next is we need to like loop through each file so for that i use for each activity selecting this each file okay go to settings we'll go with the sequential items get metadata child items click okay Now edit the for each activity. Now next, the important thing is before copying it, uh, we need something to build the mapping dynamically. If you notice that we manually provided this mapping and this is how the JSON file got generated. Now our scenario is like based on the file type we have to pop we have to dynamically map these columns uh, we have to prepare the query that generates a json string to define the column mapping between the source columns in the csv file and the destination columns in the target table okay already i prepared the query in this query we will be using the source and destination columns from the file mapping table to construct a json structure 
let's execute the query and compare the result set with the manually obtained JSON file. If you notice, uh, this is the column mapping. Uh, we got it from the manual uh, approach. And if you see the dynamic approach, it will like generate the similar structure. Okay. Based on the table, column mapping table, uh, it will create the uh, mapping between the source and the sink. Okay. That is what needed. Okay, going back to pipeline. So to generate the JSON structure for column mapping, uh, I will use a lookup activity. First. Go to settings. Okay. I will create one data set uh, that is pointing to the uh, Azure SQL database. I will use the existing linker service. Okay. Uh, don't select any table name. I uh, will use a query. Click OK. Select uh, first row, uh, first row only. Uh, make make sure it is selected. And use query select query. And we'll use this query. This query will uh, create that JSON structure uh, for source and destination column mapping. And one more important thing is like uh, we need to filter for each file. So we have to apply the condition to filter the specific file. Uh, let me copy here. Where source file name equal to this is the syntax. Uh, it will pass the file name dynamically to this query and it will filter out uh, the column mapping for uh, that specific file. Okay, click OK. Now, the next step is copying the data from source to target. So I will take the copy activity. Take this to source. Okay. Let me create one data set. Files. I'm using the existing linker service. Okay. Browse. Select source folder. Click OK. And import schema none. Click OK. And uh, for this source data set, uh, we have to pass the file name every time. So I have to, I will make this uh, data set dynamically. So click on open. I will add one parameter p underscore file name. Okay, go to connections and in the file path, change the file name to use this parameter. Click OK and go back to pipeline and uh, yeah now we'll see the parameter name we have to pass the value for this parameter from the for each activity dot name okay okay next go to sync i'm selecting the existing data set uh, ds azure sql and open We'll select uh, yeah this is our final table provider info where we are loading the data okay go to dynamic mapping okay now the next important thing is so mapping previous example i was showing right uh, we were like uh, manually mapping the columns but in this scenario we have multiple files and the column uh, names are different we have to add a dynamic content uh, click on add dynamic content now we have to pass the mappings dynamically so for that we'll use the lookup activity uh, result set go to activity outputs lookup dot first row dot and the name of the column 
Okay, this column will hold the uh, the string format. Uh, this column will hold the dynamic mapping. And we need to convert this into JSON format. For that, JSON. Click OK. Okay. Let's debug the pipeline. Okay, the pipeline got succeeded. Uh, let's verify the table. Okay. Now we successfully loaded the uh, table. Okay, we got the data from the two different files. Okay, and uh, one more important thing uh, uh, if I want to add the file name as another column, let's see how we'll do that. I'm truncating the data from this table. And then we need to add a column, alter table, add file name, parker 100. Now we added the column file name. Next, go to mappings. Okay. So if you see that there is a no alternate way. And if you want to pass the file name, we don't have any additional columns here uh, to map the column, uh, to map the calculated column. So for that, we need to uh, make entry into the file name table with the file name okay before that let's create a calculated column in the source i'm adding the additional column i'll give it as file name and uh, yeah select file path it will give the file name okay we need to insert this file name as a source okay. we need to uh, insert the file name my input is file name and my destination is file name column okay i need it for both the files so i'm selecting this inserting these records okay do this okay validate and debug Okay, the pipeline got succeeded. Let's verify the data. Okay, now we'll see the column with the file name. Okay. So this is how it works. Like if you, if any new column comes in the uh, files, then you need to add that column into the mapping table. Okay. Okay. That's all for this video. I hope you find this useful. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and take care and see you in the next video.